Hi guys, welcome back. All right, so today we're going to be creating a photo collage with some letters with an outline going around them. I'm going to start off by placing some text on my workspace. And in this text, I'm going to double click and just type senior. I'll make this a little bit larger like this. And I'm going to change the font to a font called Caftus. So I'll come in to the search bar for the font. This is what it looks like right here. Now I want my text to actually be white. And I'm going to place a rectangle on my workspace. And I want this rectangle to be just a little bit larger than my text. And I'm going to make the rectangle black. I'm going to go to position and layers. I'm going to grab that rectangle and bring it behind my text and just make sure that it is just a little bit larger than my text like that. Now I want to increase the spacing in between my letters. So I'm going to go up to advanced settings and I'm going to increase that letter spacing just a little bit like that. Now for the O, I want to make it black. So I'm going to grab that letter. I'm going to go to text color and I'm going to change it to black. I'm now going to go to my recently used and I'm going to grab this helmet and I'm going to replace my O with this helmet. I'm going to go to color and I want to change the color of that helmet to white. And I'm now going to download this page. I'll come to share, I'll click download, and I'll go ahead and download. I'm going to add another page. I'm going to bring that design into my workspace. Here it is. I'll wait for it to finish uploading and I'll click it and I'm going to click background remover. If we go back in, we just want to make sure that the background was removed and it was. That's perfect. Now I'm going to grab some images and I'm just going to put them in behind those letters. But let me make this a little bit larger just so that we can see what we're doing. I'm going to go back to my recently used and I'm just going to grab some photos and I'm going to place them in those letters. And just make sure that the images aren't overlapping in the other letters. So I just got that one more to do. Okay, I'm going to go to position and layers. I'm going to grab my overlay. I'm going to bring it on top and just check that the images are where I want them to be. If there's an image that's not sitting properly, now is your time to kind of grab it and just move it to where um, you know you want to see it. Now keep in mind you don't want it overlapping with anything else so you will have to crop it when it does. It's now time for us to change our overlay to white. So with the overlay selected I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to duotone and I'm going to change it to white. So I'll change the highlights to pure white and the shadows to pure white. Again, I'm going to download this because I want to remove the background. So I'll come to share. I'm going to click download and I don't want it transparent, but I only want page two. I'll say done and download. I'll create another page while that's downloading. I'm going to grab it, bring it back into Canva, and now I'm going to remove the background. So I will click background remover. And I'm just going to go back in just to check it didn't remove something, you know, that I didn't want it to remove. It looks perfectly fine. I'll go back. 
it's now time for us to add those frames, but we're not actually going to add frames. What we're going to do is we are going to add some grids because grids are kind of similar to frames, but um, you know, they come already pre fabricated with frames. So in elements, just scroll all the way down and here you'll find some grids and I'm just going to grab some and you can just resize these. So I'll just put some here. I'll double click. I'll make a copy and put that here. Grab this one and I'll put that right there. And I'll just look at the that purple line just to make sure that I am kind of lining it up. I'll make a copy and I'll bring that here and just line it up and make sure that it's um, evenly aligned with the one across. And now I'll just grab a solid frame and bring that in, in here. And line that up as well, like that. I'll make a copy and I'll bring that this one down here as well. Now we're going to want these grids to be behind our senior. But before we do that, there's one thing um, that you need to think about. And that's if you like the amount of space that's between your grid. If you don't, just click it, come to spacing, and you can reduce the spacing to whatever you like. And it doesn't take a long time to do that. All right, so let's go back to position and layers. We're going to bring our seniors text all the way to the top like that. Let's fill in these this grid with some images. So I'm going to go back to elements. I'm going to go back to my recently used and I'm just going to grab some photos of grads and just um, put them in the frames. All right, so this is what our photo collage would look like. There's just one more thing that we need to do. It's really difficult for us to see that text. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that text, which is now an image. We're going to go to edit and we're going to add a shadow outline. And for the outline, we're going to change it to the color white. So there it is right there. Now you can toggle the size, you can make it thicker, you can make it thinner, you know, whatever you like. And I'm, I'm going to make it a little bit larger like that. And I'm also going to grab all the frames here and I'll make the frames a little bit taller as well. And if you want, you can also add some text so we can just grab some text and we can put some text on the side here. And I'll put that right there. I'll make the text yellow. I'll go to effects. And I'm going to add an outline and for the outline. I'm also going to add it as being white. Now, if any of these images aren't showing up properly, you want to move them. It's really, really simple. Just double click in the part that you want to move and then you can move the photo over and click outside when you're done. Now, before we go, I'm going to make another copy of this. So I'm just going to duplicate this design. And I'm going to change things up a little bit. So I'm going to bring this all the way up like this. And then I'll bring this down 
Like some of my other videos, I'm going to offer you a couple of different options. So here we have the, the grids coming underneath the text and we have the little bit of that outline coming up into the images. But what if I were to take the grid and move it up like that and then move the bottom one down a little bit? Which one would you like better? This first one or the second one? Or even I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to take a copy of that and I'm going to paste it here on my page um, six, I guess. Let me get rid of that. Um, so now that's page five. So um, what if I were to add a rectangle? And what if I were to extend it all the way, make it white, and position that behind my senior like that. And then kind of put it also behind the R. What do you think of this design as opposed to this one? Or where the grid is just above the word or this one here? Let me know which one you like the best. So it's three, four, or five. Let me know in the comments, vote for the one you like the best. And that's pretty much how we create a photo collage using some text, how we replace letters with different elements, and how we use grids. Now, if you learned anything in this tutorial, press the like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. If you want to hear more about my live classes, ask me in the comments and I'll give you more information. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.